part of the evening is for the World Tag Team title. And introducing first in this bout fans from Ireland, he weighs in at 230 pounds, Irish Mickey Doyle. The tag team partner tonight from Hamilton, Ontario, weighing in at 239 pounds, a nice round of applause for Billy Red Lion. Their opponents tonight from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at a combined weight of 460 pounds, the world tag team champions, Laddie and Angelo, the Puffles. They are accompanied by their manager, Jim Saul Weingroff. Champions officially recognized by the National Wrestling Alliance, based in St. Louis, the Puffo, the Puffos, that's Angelo and Lanny. Now they're up against two of the most popular young men in wrestling today. One, of course, is that teenage idol, Irish Mickey Doyle. And his partner, Billy Redlines, considered by keen judges the finest wrestler in Canada today. That's the finest Canadian wrestler. The referee sends out Lions, one man from each side, Angelo, the veteran of his team, against the people's choice, Irish Mickey Doyle. What a clever youngster this is. Has beautiful wrestling moves. And he can uh, be as rough as the next if it's necessary. Tag team wrestling, one of the most exciting forms of wrestling today. It's a dangerous uh, style though, because one never knows what is coming from uh, the opponent that is outside the ring. That's if you get close enough to him. Now to add uh, to the trouble is gentleman Saul Weingroff, very astute manager of the world champion. Popo with a vicious right uppercut. Steadies the popular Irish boy. And already the chant is taken up by the fans. Go, Mickey, go, as Mickey lands heavily on the ball. And there we see the very agile Lanny Poffo in the ring, warming up, waiting for Doyle to return. And he delivers a dandy of a drop kick. Flush on the Irish lad. The arrogance of Lanny Poffo frustrates everybody. Oh, how they'd love to see this fellow get his comeuppance. Poffos who combine brilliantly in tag team wrestling, which is, of course, very important. as Lyon demonstrates his great ability and he shines in tag team wrestling platform his sleeper Billy Red Lyons seen at his best here against Lenny Pavo Lenny Pavo a beautifully built individual fine specimen but an arrogant one. And the tag is made to Angelo. And Angelo backs off. On the outside, ladies and gentlemen, Lanny Poffo appeals to his manager. Forearm jolting by Lyons is exceptionally good. A 
I want to warn wrestling fans that in about 30 seconds we're going to take a commercial break, which is necessary so you'll understand when it comes about. Meanwhile, Lions is still in control. And it's Angelo moving in cautiously as the referee orders him out and Leno in. We will return for more of this tag team excitement. But first, ladies and gentlemen, this message. Well, the action continued fast and furious, but Lyon still in command. And he tags off now to Irish Mickey Doyle. And this teenage idol, much to the delight of his many fans, hangs on with a good side headlock to Lanny Popper. The referee issued a warning to gentleman Saul Weingroup to stay out of the action. Now they are running. Who gets into position first? It was Mickey Doyle, but oh. <laughs> Doyle was not impressed by the shenanigans of Lanny Pavel. And he has his dander up, this Irish boy. And the fans scream their delight. We will see some great tag team combinations. Wrestling under Canadian big time wrestling in the future. All out for the Poffo's tag team title. There's a big left by Doyle and a heavy slam. And another coming up. Oh, the back of Poffo. I always shudder when I see a wrestler take such a jarring blow. And one other one, and Angelo is certainly going to nurse a bad back tomorrow. I say that because when the body cools off, the effects are felt. And Lyons is rolling like a winner. Slams this man again, and Angelo Popper's taken four of those heavy slams. Well, what a cunning individual he is. Lyons turned his head the wrong way, and uh, he fell victim then. Do some Popper tonight. And it's Lanny Popo starting to roll. And Lyons is in trouble. Mickey Doyle wants the tag. The count is one. And Penny reached Mickey Doyle. Lyons is a little bit uh, lost in that ring. He's not quite sure where his partner is. And now it's Lyons. Getting a second win. Oh, they're going to have a little conference now. The Poffos and gentlemen, Saul Weingrup, will take advantage of the 20 count and talk this one over. The champions now settle down. Paul Nelson applied by Angelo, and here comes a drop kick. And I don't like that. Go on. Two. A bad blow taken by Irish Mickey Doyle. I must 
congratulate both sides for the excellent conditioning. They're in such wonderful shape. This bout has been fast and furious. It's a credit to them that they're able to maintain this pace. When the referee's back was turned, that's when the poffos hand out the punishment. Lefts and rights by both sides. And another big slam. How long can Poffo take it? Up he goes again for another one. They're maintaining a solid pace. Something has got to give. Now Lions and Doyle line them up. The referee has certainly done a tremendous job up there controlling this belt. An exceptionally hard belt to control. And the champions again go out to discuss the matter with gentleman Saul Weingrup. You stay out of the belt. You've got no right to be there. So Weingrup came over to complain bitterly about the behavior of Lyons and Doyle. Their protests fell on deaf ears. Fans present in the London arena have shouted themselves hoarse. Canadian big time wrestling came to London with a bang. A night they won't forget in a hurry. The fans love their wrestling and they like it this way. There's a count. One. Oh, as Angelo Poffo saved by the intervention of Lanny Poffo. Irish Mickey Doyle takes his side headlock and he's on the march. Both men, great athletes, running, each waiting. And Oh, uh, that was a, a collision where, oh, I don't like it. One, two, three, and Irish Mickey Doyle is defeated, but I don't like the way that happened. The referee missed the action. He missed the action. Here is the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, eight minutes and 15 seconds. The winners, the world tag team champions, the Puffos. A uh, referee, may I have you look? No, I'll explain this. I'll explain it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's only fair that the referee should be warned at this stage that an illegal move was made when your back was turned and that man pushed his partner on top of Mickey Doyle. No, I won't. I won't accept that decision. Now, everybody in the arena here witnessed what was seen then. What happened? They witnessed what, what happened. Angelo Poffo pushed his partner on top of Irish Mickey Doyle. You know, too. Why are you in a fit? You're an outfit. You're not the referee. I represent everybody in this arena. It's all right. Yes. The wrong team got the decision, referee. We're not putting up with the likes of you. You can just Let's stay out of the action. There's your winner. I'm not going to... You tell the fellow, you tell your team in future to be...
play the game. That's all we, we say. We play the game right. We're clean, we're scientific, and we wrestle like gentlemen. That's why they call me gentlemen. That's all right. You're going to answer to me about this here. This, the audacity. That's all right. The audacity of you to do something like this. You'd like to get away I'm with it, wouldn't you? Alone, sir. It's you all right. have a lot of audacity. Go on, outside. Mr. So Layton, up. I'll pick you as well. Oh, oh, yes, sir, gentlemen. gentlemen. I hope you enjoy the evening as much as we did bring it to you. Cheerio to you all and good luck. This has been Big Time Wrestling with Lord Layton, featuring Canada's greatest wrestlers and 